Hello, just a quick update on clearing the land um, and to show you guys a few things. So, um, it's been very interesting trying to cook and clean and do dishes in such a tiny, tiny space. But I wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, so for lunch, I am making spaghetti and meat sauce. And um, for dinner, I have a pot roast going, and then I'm going to show you some of the land clearing. Um, and even making my homemade sauce for the spaghetti in such a tiny space. So let me show you real quick. Um, my mother-in-law gave me this. It's like New Wave. Um, so I've got my um, beef searing here. Uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and onions. Normally, I would use real garlic and onions, but you know, you can only do so much, and I ran out of time. So, that's searing. This is just about done, so you can turn that off. It's gonna stay warm. We finally got my beautiful stove in here today. Um, had some people come over, so I can tomatoes every year, and um, that's just add a little tomato paste, salt, and pepper. I blend it up, but canning the tomatoes is what really um, helps you throughout the year. I can just grab a can, throw it in there, spices and everything. Um, I tend to, I like to cook the sauce for a while, but again, right now, pans and space and burners are limited, so I'm just going to blend it up. I'm going to add it to the meat and just kind of let it cook. The flavor of the beef, I don't drain the beef or anything. It's grass-fed beef um, that we get from a local butcher um, when we buy like quarter, half a cow. So it's really good quality and it adds um, good flavor to cook it in with the beef. And two, I'm not worried about the extra fat because number one, um, it is more of a leaner, better than your normal store-bought beef. But also, we're working our butts off out here doing physical labor so we can use the extra fat. Um, so, and then once that's done cooking, I'm going to throw on the pot of water to boil for the noodles, add it all in one pot to kind of warm it through. So, even though you have limited space and limited uh, appliances, you can still make good meals. It takes a little uh, thought <laughs> before you start, um, and it can be a little hectic, but, you know, you just got to wing with it. So, and then for the pot roast, Dan helped me cut up the potatoes. Uh, my grandmother gave me a crock pot. I got my pot roast in there, potatoes, carrots, um, and some fresh rosemary that I dried earlier this year from our garden. And again, the tomatoes. This is just going to go all night. Uh, depending on, I made a lot of meat sauce, so we might just have that for dinner. We're going to have to get used to eating the same thing, you know, for lunch and dinners because to cook three different meals a day is a bit obnoxious. <laughs> So we might have leftover spaghetti and sauce tonight or pizza from last night for dinner. And then that pot roast might just be for church tomorrow. So um, we did today also get our rocket mass heater in here, the wood stove out of here. We'll do another video about this later. It is awesome, which we're going to be able to bring this back a little bit move the ladder over and put the kids new trundle day bed in there but I want to show you the land really quick they've been working really hard so all of this has been cleared there's a huge pile of brush but they're going to take care of that they cleared out all back there we wanted to keep those four trees to building a tree fort for the kids um, all this has been cleared out we've got a huge section back there nice and clear going to get some sunshine we got light coming in through here they still have more trees to take down but they're doing as much as they can out here before they get to the ones that are close to the cabin because they want as much space as possible and we put together um, our new grill from my in-laws our anniversary present so I'm excited to use that uh, we forgot to grab a propane tank otherwise I'd be boiling the noodles out here um, so that is our update for now um just a quick little update to let you know how it goes and that nobody is without excuse for having home cooked meals <laughs> and healthy meals if i can do it in this little space you can do it too um so it does like i said it can be frustrating at times 
to try and figure out how to meal plan and do meals and not have to keep buying out. Thankfully, the temperature has gotten cooler, so um, we're not able to get my fridge in here right now, which I'm very sad about, but um, we'll grab one or two big coolers, um, put special locks on them so the critters don't get into them at night. They'll stay out on the porch. They'll keep cold enough. I won't need to ice them or anything. Um, and you just kind of got to go with the flow. So um, we will talk to you guys later. I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you have any questions, let us know um, and we'll do our best to answer them. Bye.